Welcome back to Midwest Access. We uh, have moved away from the studio. We're with Jenny Brass, aka Foxy. We're kind of down in your basement. Yes, yes. This is the this is the basement shop. Okay, this is where all the magic happens. <laughs> well, this is where half the magic happens. Half the magic. <laughs> what are we making today? We are making a cast of a resin kitsune. Let's get started. What will you be showing us first? All right. First things first. Um, this is what we're going to be using. This is resin. It's a two-part piece. This is just one of the parts. And I'll be showing how we mix it, and how we color it, and how we cast it, and how we finish it up. Okay. And so. what we're making has a unique name. What is it again? Kitsune, Kitsune. otherwise known as a nine-tailed fox. Of course we're making a fox, Foxy. <laughs> no, of course. <laughs> uh, these are uh, part of Oriental um, mythology, so they're magical. Okay. And they're a lot of fun. So I'm pouring one part. And you do tutorials to help people at home learn how to do this. That is correct. I got a grant through um, CMAC for a tutorial series called Resonating Through Art. Okay. And this allowed me to get some extra material and extra objects, including what you're going to be seeing in the bit here. Can you just buy this resin at like Home Depot? Uh, not this particular resin. Um, you Where do you buy resin? I buy resin online through, you can see the actual epoxy resin store. Sure. Um, really great bulk resin for doing this sort of stuff. Okay. You want to mix it really good. For a little while. Yeah, it, it takes a little bit. You want to make sure that it's nice and clear. We're going to do two different colors. This is alcohol ink. This is one of the colors that we can do. The body needs to have color too, right? Yes. So we're using a color called Fiesta, which you selected for us. <laughs> I did select this. This is going to need more drops because it's a larger amount. So this will be the body. This is going to be the body. Okay. Oops. All right. So we're going to get ourselves mixed in there. Stab it down. And again, where do you get the ink? The ink can be gotten at like Michael's, okay. um, any of your craft stores. You can also purchase it online. Alcohol it us, ink. Mm -hmm. You can also put mica powder in, and that that creates the solid colored ones, like the ones that I okay. had upstairs. Now we're gonna go right into here, right up against this tail, and I'm gonna squeeze it. And what's gonna happen is color is gonna run down, and it's gonna get stuck right into those grooves. So you said you've made casts, but this one you purchased? Yes. Where can someone buy something like this or make it? I get it off of Amazon. <laughs> uh, they have a lot of molds. I have a whole ton on the shelf behind you in boxes. So we're doing the same thing down this side. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now what's the next step? This goes onto the tray. So folks don't have this contraption mm -hmm. what do they do all right if they don't have this contraption they can do this this is a heat tank uh-huh so this has reptile pads underneath it it's, a, it's just a fish tank put on its side and what this allows is it's got a little bit of heat to cure it it traps the heat keeps the sure. dust out of it okay. so you know you can you can go ahead and, and cure the resin in a place like a basement like I've got right here, where it is a little cooler, because you actually want the resin to be approximately 70 degrees. Well, oh, okay, I was going to say you have a thermometer in there, so yes, 70 do. degrees. 70 degrees. All right. All right, so here we go. Once once we're done, lower it in. And this is called a pressure pot. What this is going to do is it's going to use air compression to push all the bubbles so they're really, really tiny and nobody sees them. Okay. Now, this is a slightly dangerous piece of equipment. <laughs> um, it is going to be pressurized to 40 PSI. Now that will sit overnight and in the morning I will open it up and pull out a finished product. Ta-da! Look through the, the masterful of, <laughs> of fast forwarding. Here we go. Okay. So this is one that I did yesterday. Perfect. So what we're gonna do, you just pull it away from the edges. 
and it pops right up. Oh, perfect. 